While our commentary is generally family friendly, The Walking Dead Season 3 is rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amell play The Walking Dead Season 3. On the last episode I was in control and some things got crazy. We were down in the tunnels, Conrad was mad and uh, I'm... yeah, I had to shoot him. I mean, I didn't have to shoot him. I guess you don't have to shoot anyone, but at the time, it's what seemed right. <laughs> Which is a shame, because I actually really liked Conrad, but, you know, uh, Javier's existence was making Conrad's life relatively terrible, and we took care of that by ending Conrad's life. Now, the group is considerably smaller. Uh, Mao is in control today. Uh, the very last thing that happened um, is that we actually entered into episode three, and we played the little, like, Preview, past, look back thing. What's yeah. the word I'm looking for? Oh my god. Recap. Well, I was not. I was thinking, um, you know, from the past. Oh, flashback. Flashback. Thank you. Can't think of the word flashback. Uh, but now we're in present day again. We have just submitted to the new frontier, and we found out that David is either in charge or is one of the higher ups. It's going to get crazy. Mal, take it away. They're really good designers. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? Ignore your son. <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I... I thought you were dead, man. I, I thought you'd been dead for, for a long time. No such luck. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! Oh, okay. You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. We were trying to prove that we could be trusted. That we'd follow orders. Anything to get her to your hospital. You that afraid of an injured woman, Max? It wasn't her. It was the rest of them. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's going to help you, honey. I'm going to make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Javi. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's go. That went smoothly. Yeah. I mean, it, and also it had to, right? Like, it would have had to have gone smoothly. Because he would be, you know, ecstatic to see his wife. And his brother. They have electricity. Also, Clem is gone. Trap. Oh, God. Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond, their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, 
he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? Let's just say it's complicated, all right? I'll say. Considering the way I saw you kiss her. Good job, Mal. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Uh, that does sound complicated. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... I hate to admit it, but there's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get payback for what was stolen... It's possible. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. I heard every word you said. <laughs> hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of something. Come on already. Kate's asking for you. Is he not going to ask about his Maybe daughter? Maybe it's okay to keep a lady waiting. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip. Just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'm sorry, Jesus. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seriously wondering right now if David knows about his daughter. Certainly not. I mean, even if he does, I feel like if he was behind a lot of it, then he's going to feign shock. I don't feel like he's out to kill his family. That seems... No, but like, I think... That seems conspiracy theorist. Like, really, really out there. Along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Hmm. It's always fun to watch you play because you make <laughs> different decisions. Going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. I mean, it was your men. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. 
What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Mariana saw things that other people didn't. She, uh... She told me she wanted to write down her memories, to keep them alive after she was gone. Sounds like her. Always was a dreamer. How? How did she die? Ooh, tell me how it happened. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire <laughs> on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Who, me? Shoot. Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Hmm. Things are getting interesting. Trying to stir things up. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. <laughs> I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Oh, man. Who's the fresh meat? Ava this is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Uh, baseball's long gone. Just regular old survivor brother now. <laughs> From what I hear, there's nothing regular about you. Oh, he talked Ava's good about right me. Hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. Hmm. Man, what did Clem do? That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you for three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore. So I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside DC. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. We took care of each other. We all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. There's a lot of um, interesting relationships in this season mm -hmm. that are making it uh, really cool and also really complex. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi! Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I was gonna say the same about you. 
Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the duck. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. Oh, God. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? Well, what about Gabe? He seems pretty happy to see his dad. Gabe will do what we say. We've been taking care of him. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. I hear you, Kate, but we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. <sighs> Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? Wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. There Marie, you go. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way. But we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Hmm. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Man. Man, man, man. I have lots of things in my head. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. I mean, I agree with our crew. But I think it's best to, like, save face for now. Sure. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. No complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? I'd have to go with that cake. I haven't seen anything like that in years. <sighs> Suit yourself. Come on, Clint. At least he's being honest. Please, make yourself comfortable. 
How'd we they value make a straight cake? talk here, so please, <laughs> forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. <laughs> Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? A girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? Yeah, I do. One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Oh, man. Go on, Javi. They overran Prescott with walkers, ran them in on trucks. Badger did that, not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Wow. I wonder how that could have gone otherwise. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here, your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. 
I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? Man, I'm gonna ask you to pause it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Well, I, I said it earlier, but like, it is... Incredible watching you play because we would make very different decisions. And I felt that way watching you play in the last few episodes. So, man. So, especially for like for anyone who has already played this game and knows like major decisions that are coming up uh -huh. and know which one of us are going to get stuck with certain decisions, like it is a huge toss up of what's going to happen based on who's playing. Because when I watch you play, I'm thinking, oh my God, I would not have chosen that. <laughs> oh wow! I wouldn't have chosen that either. <laughs> oh, we're going, we're going left. Now we're going right. Now we're going left. Um, so there is, there is such an interesting thing going on with all of the relationships because David's wife, Kate, doesn't even like David. Hasn't loved David for years. Even, even back early in the relationship during the flashback, we could see that she had a thing for Javi. Yeah. And now we're in a situation. I'm not going to say who did it, but <laughs> it might be your fault. Um, we're in a situation where Kate and Javi are a thing, and David is like, kind of like, wait, what's going on? Is something happening? And when, and honestly, on my episodes, I've kind of tried, at least I've, I've attempted, to steer away from that, and you've steered towards it. <laughs> and you've steered towards it just enough where, like, it's a thing. And there was a moment in the hospital room where Gabe looks at Javi like, you know, I know you and my mom are a thing. And I'm like, oh my god. And, like, Kate really wants, like, to get out of there and doesn't want to be around David. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, you you were saying how it could have gone differently. I think it would have went very differently. I think you would have stayed in the camp. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I, because they made it pretty clear that if we would have been nice and quiet, that that probably would have just been, you know, okay, well, welcome to the new frontier. Welcome to whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Man. This is uh this is getting crazy. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode I'm in control and uh I gotta take I gotta take the reins of this train and see where I where I drive it. See you guys next time for more Stephen Amount Play, The Walking Dead, Season Three.